Okay. Um, so you guys are going to have to bear with me on this video. As you can see, I'm not in the studio where we normally record. I'm actually out in a little garden area that I made when my dad and one of my best friends passed away. Um, and there's no easy way for me to say or do this. And I've actually been dreading this for a very long time. But I have to let you guys know that Coach Margaret did pass away recently. It was very unexpected, as you can imagine. Um, Margaret has had health problems over the years and there've been many times over those years I've been worried about her, but she has been doing well for a while and so I can't tell you other than I am in complete shock still. Uh, I have had a little bit of time to digest this with Co Coach Victoria um, because this is obviously really overwhelming and I don't think anybody has quite been able to digest this. Um, everybody wants to know what happened. Everybody's going to want to know what happened. And I can tell you what I know happened. She wasn't feeling well as she was about to go on vacation. She was literally about to go the next day. And she laid down for a nap. And when she woke up, she felt nauseous. And she said she felt too exhausted to get up. So she went back to sleep. And when she woke back up, she still wasn't feeling good. And she said she didn't want to go to the doctor yet. She just wanted to see how she was feeling. Because like I said, she was supposed to go on vacation that morning or that afternoon. And she still wasn't feeling good. So they took her to the hospital. And apparently her blood pressure was very low. And they wanted to send her to another hospital that they thought could give her more intensive treatment. So they sent her over there. And from what I've been told, she was not conscious. They said she had sepsis, but they had no idea why. They have no idea why. But she didn't make it even to the next day. I was not even told that anything was going on until Sunday late at night. And so I thought, oh, well, there's no way they're gonna let me in this late that they'll want me to come tomorrow during visiting hours. So uh, Coach Victoria and I were gonna go early in that afternoon to see her. And before we could even go there, she had already passed. And yeah, as you can imagine, it's been incredibly difficult. Margaret was like family to me. I've known her for probably 20 years and she's nothing, been nothing but amazing to me. I can't even tell you how much of an impact she's had on my life, had on my life. And, you know, I lost my mom to cancer. I lost my dad to COVID. He had beaten cancer several times. Um, she was there for me during breakups. She was always there for me and by far the wisest person I had ever known. And I can't even articulate how much she meant to me. I've needed time before I could put this video out for you guys. There have been several times where I was supposed to do it or was going to do it, and it also included Victoria. But I don't think those times were meant to be because it rained heavily each of those times. So 
I know this is going to be a shock for all of you. Um, it's still a shock for me. And I have put out a couple videos with her since it happened. Because, quite frankly, I just wasn't ready to let you guys know. And deal with all of that has to come with that. Including many of you guys wanting to talk with me about this or Victoria about this and so we needed some time before we could do that I'm sure you guys can understand that I don't really know what else to say in this video other than Margaret has had a tremendous impact on my life and for many of you as well over the years I already miss her terribly and it's taken me a lot to sit down and try and film this for you guys because I am still like in shock over this. Like I said, I had no warning signs of this. Nobody did. We had no idea. Margaret has been doing great lately and you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking about how this will impact all of you guys. And, you know, all I can tell you is that Margaret will live on through all of us. All of us that have been impacted by her. You know, obviously me and Victoria have had a tremendous amount of time with her and I am nothing but grateful for that time and I'm so glad I've been able to art you know have Margaret come in on the channel there's over 500 videos with her out there and I do have some videos left with her more than you would think but I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet I didn't, I don't feel like it would be right to release any videos of her right away. Um, so I will take some time to release those. I expect everybody will be respectful and kind. And if you want to share positive comments of what Margaret meant to you, you know, I welcome you to do that. Um, yeah, I'm still in shock. And um, I'm sure all of you watching are still too. So I am very sorry to have to tell you this. And I thought this would be the best way to go about that. And I hope you guys can understand. I know this is gonna be hard for many of you as she's gonna feel like family to you as well. I'll continue to release videos with Victoria and, and myself right now. And I know it will probably be a hard time, but um, that's all I really needed to say right now. So I appreciate you all. I appreciate all the love and support you guys will give the channel and to us. And like I said, I am sorry to have to tell you guys this.